We got another night vlog happening here. Canon R6, we got a secret lens. Will it outperform the R5? All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we're on the Canon R6. We're just in 1080p. I'm gonna switch to 4K without telling you when. And then by the end of that segment, I'll let you know that you missed it. You didn't even notice it. You don't care about any of that. So we're testing a new lens here. We got the EF 24mm Tony 2.8. Somebody lent it to me. I messed up big. He said, okay, I got this lens for you. All right, let's meet. 9.30, Tuesday. I'm like, all right, I'll be there, buddy. You can count on me. Completely forgot. Just, it was 12.30 noon by the time I remembered. I was like, oh my God. He wasn't there any longer. But we met up the next day. I apologize profusely. Thank you so much. <laughs> so he lent me this. We got the Canon 50mm 1.2. As well as a Voigtlander 15mm 4.5 or something. It sounded exciting. I was like, oh wow, 15mm. Then I was like, I just had the 15 to 35. <laughs> it's going to be worse in every way. And I can't even fit it on the thing. So uh, if I can get it on there, we'll try it. Ah. So this was the lens that I thought would be the vlogging lens for this R system. Any of them. The RP, the R. Because it's stabilized. Has it been stable? Because that's a stabilized lens plus IBIS now. 24 is not wide enough to be warpy and weird. How are we doing on it? So pay attention to the stab. I might switch on to digital. There's not a plus icon. It's not dual stab. So they could be fighting each other. Are they fighting or getting along? Is there a cyclist stalking me? Does he have a mask? Is there a virus I should know about? Is he Tona? He's no longer dangerous. <laughs> they can't hurt you when they're Tona. Yeah, you want to be on? What's up, bro? Hey. What's going on? Not much. What are you doing? Hey. Oh, we, like yeah, right we could. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Nothing much. Just making a camera review. Nice. It's a sick camera, bro. Thank you very much. Yeah, nice camera. Nice drinks. Water. Water. Good Hi. choice. Yeah. <laughs> you too. <laughs> the Canon just helps you meet friends. That's what Canon does. Although you couldn't hear any of them talk because of the lav mic. That's a selfish choice. Oh, hello lighting. How we doing? We doing it? That's some lighting right there. Wow. We're at 1 60th, by the way. Friendly motion blur, it's called in the industry. That just happened. So at night, you can vlog with a wide open ego aperture. Fantastic. I love that song. Where's it coming from? That bar. Y'all can't hear it. Have you ever watched the show Portlandia? It's their intro to that. If you could hear it, I'd get a copyright strike. I don't need that right now. Stop it. It's a really good song. Guess what? I switched to 4K. Did you even notice it? He did it. Oh, the Shoppers Drug Mart lighting of our heart. That is fantastic, my friend. So how's the color science performing today? That looks jerky. Oh, oh God, what happened? Is 4K worse? Oh my God, oh God, what is happening? Uh, let me switch to digital. Digital is on, is that better? I just started noticing it. Was it happening before? So yeah, about that color science. I can't believe the Canon Cripple Hammer found his way into the crayon drawer. It messed up the colors. Why would they do that? Like, obviously we have the same technology, but they did something. Like, they would actually do that? Like, oh, okay, let's remove the reds from the skin tones. It, it looks too beautiful. Just make them go up. Okay, we're back in 1080p. Are you noticing the difference at all, like when I switch? When you're moving outside, it's, you're really almost any camera, any mode, 
you have to punch into like 200% and oh there yeah if you're just I bet you you film on the X3000 I switch between it you'd be like what just happened you won't even notice is it performing better than the R5 it just seems like I'm not as yellow when God damn it. Oh. Oh, God. I contradict myself too much. Too often. I'm trying to teach. Stop it. Oh, there's that bright sign. Will it go into bright mode? Oh, God. <laughs> that is insane. We're still at ISO 1600. Why? And why did this go up? Oh, the stupidness. That's why I switched to fast, slow motion. And then it changed the shutter. Then I went to another mode. It kept the shutter from the slow bullshit. Kind of, ow. Low light. No? How's the autofocus performing? Has it lost me at all? Adapted lens. You know, the R5 is the better camera. But in its current state, if you actually wanted to edit the files without doing that generated stuff, you have to do 1080p. Even then, it's a bit of a struggle. So you do that, then you got no slow-mo. It's worse than a Canon R. The Canon R wasn't hard to edit. Why is this so? Even this one in 4K is a little jumpy. I'm not sure why Canon leads the industry. After every camera I try, they have a decent look. But a lot of their modes, it's hard to use the camera. Whereas everybody's saying the menu systems are, no. <laughs> I waited till the car had one chance to turn and then I was gonna steal it from her. I didn't. I'm stealing it from you though. Take that, Turner. Use your signals next time, asshole. They're on. I see that now, I overreacted. But switching to slow-mo is seven button presses. That is unheard of. It should be one switch. Panasonic's the only one that can do it. What's Olympus? There's a couple, like three button presses and a confirm. All right, let's go into dark territories and see if it outshines the R5. <laughs> that light. <laughs> I was just looking at the ISO to see, how come I don't see it now? It just randomly shows you sometimes. I don't get it. I don't understand you, Canon. I wanna see the ISO. Does it have to change? And then you'll show me? What is the secret? What's happening? Do it. Hey, that's Panasonic level speed there. It's not good. How is this lens though? Was I right? This is one of them. I think the 20 mil would be better. I don't think it's stable. I think it might be. There's a 20 mil 2.8 stabilized. Might be good enough, might be good enough. But this was it. It's somewhat doable. This concept, <laughs> it weighs 1,095 grams. That's in like Fuji territory with a kit lens or something like that. 1,000 grams is the sweet spot. Anything over that, you're pushing your luck. But we're doing it. Okay, I stopped recording, restarted, and now I can see it. We're at 25,600, which I think is the max. So we maxed out on it. It won't get any brighter. But it looks better than the R5 did, I swear. <laughs> I want to go into the darkness. But don't have bright lights in the background, or it'll haunt. Nobody would film like that. There's nothing bright back there. There. I'm the brightest thing now, and it's hunting as shit, because I'm no longer facing that light source. I guess any camera would do this except the Sony A7S III. Oh, yeah. 51,200. Is it clean? Clean as a whistle. Does the autofocus hunt? No. Oh, oh boy. Admittedly, there's not a lot of light here. Can it get even darker? Right here is probably the darkest spot of the night. Oh, there's lights behind you. Oh, no. There are no lights anywhere, except on my face in the perfect autofocus performance. I didn't want the light though. Something's up with the R5 where it doesn't expose for your face if you're facing brightness, where this is. 
Something's broken on my R5. Or the setting, there's something. It's too bad I have like five videos made and I keep asking you guys questions, but I haven't uploaded them yet to get the answers and then I keep making the same mistakes. This is a problem. On the screen, it looks pretty clean for 51,000. There's 64,000. 80. We're talking 102,000 right now. That's the truth. Is it clean? Seems too bright. I don't think zebras are on. Are there any zebras? Well. You good? Ah, stop. Stop that. There's Tony. No, stay Tony. If you hunt, he could kill me. Oh, God. No. Okay, we're at the max. 204,800. Is this giving me good light? Does ISO create the light and then you can perform autofocus better because you're in good light now? I think that's true. ISO gives you light. It's a cool little camera, but if somebody offered this to me in exchange for my Fuji, I would not take it. I would take the A7S. I would not take this or the R5 because I know my life will be so much harder to edit. Is this really bad? Let's stop. All right, we're back to auto ISO and the max 25,000. Think it'll stay there and eventually it just shuts off and you can't see what ISO you're at anymore. I don't understand it. But there's not a lot of cameras I would trade for my Fuji X-T4, I tell you. Just the Sony a7S III. That's some interesting white balance decisions. Thank you for that, Canon. But I tell you, X-T4 all the way. There's not much I would trade it for. And the Olympus I love. Those are my two favorites. But the Olympus has such bad slow motion. It's so disheartening. The G9 is so much better, but then you have to deal with the Panasonic autofocus and the colors. So Fuji X-T4 is the perfect balance of all. It has the best slow motion, amazing colors. Some lenses can autofocus. We're in the darkness, my friend. So what do you think? R6, did it outperform the R5? And is this lens the best combo? It's still pretty heavy, but it's doable. We're dark. You couldn't just end on a high note. Oh, that's bad. That's bad news. All right, I'm going to leave. Thanks for buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. Subscribe more right now. I'll see you in that.